Hey guys, Boba Bricks here with another video, and this time I'm here to give you guys a tutorial of how to make a better Iron Spy from Avengers Infinity War. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Now starting off with the legs, as well as the torso and back piece right here, all of these are from the Iron Spy from the LEGO Avengers Infinity War sets with the Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. This is a main main figure that you're gonna need. If you don't have this main figure, then it's gonna be really hard to make this. So then, um, besides that, with the legs, torso, arms, hands, and, uh, part that the mechanical arms attach to, like I said, those are all from that Iron Spire. But, actually, these arm parts right here are actually, this part right here I got from the Iron Spire, from the Ultimate Spider-Man sets with the classic kind of comic Iron Spire that you got. There was a set that came with Spider-Man, Iron, the Iron Spire from the comics, and Sandman, and I'm not quite sure if it came with anyone else, but I know it came with those three. And it came with uh, AI inspired with these mechanical arms. I just really do prefer how these look rather than the ones that LEGO used for the Iron for this May figure for Avengers and Fame War, or the Iron Spire May figure that they use for Avengers and Fame War. I honestly love how these look. I'm not that big of a fan of how the ones that LEGO chose to use for their and Fame War sets look. I think that they look rather bulky and I'm just not a big fan. And then for the part that attaches to the mechanical arm, it's actually this piece. I'm not quite sure what it's called. It's a fairly common piece to have. I have a bunch of them in my collection. So if you've been getting more recent LEGO sets, you probably have a couple of them lying around in your collection. And then you just make four of those and attach them to the back piece, which was available with Iron Spider, as well as the Outriders from the Avengers and Fame War sets. And then for this... Uh, head what I actually got this head from was the Mario McFly from the Lego Dimensions level pack as you can see I've switched I've given Mario McFly a different head and given this head for my Iron Spire and I just really do like how it looks I think that it looks really accurate and has a nice kind of teenage look and it's really accurate to Tom Holland I believe in Avengers and Fame War and then the face in the front looks perfect and then as well as the back I love this expression too kind of more of a worried scared face and I actually got this head idea from LEGO Superheroes Today, who is another YouTube channel who does many uh, custom minifigures where he, or not custom, but he makes um, better minifigures or minifigures that LEGO hasn't made um, from movies or comics or games or whatever. And he makes better versions using official LEGO parts, so if you guys have time, make sure to check out him, LEGO Superheroes Today. And then this hair, why I actually use this hair from was the Han Solo from the more recent Star Wars sets. You can get that hair with the Han Solo from the Desert Skiff, the Han Solo from the Death Star, and the Han Solo from the Most Eisley Cantina. All these more recent sets, not the older ones, but the most the, the more recent ones. And what I actually did is I just bought a bunch of these from Lego Bricks and Pieces for this hair piece off um with the Lego Bricks and Pieces shop. And I just ordered a bunch of those. So then that's where I actually got the hair piece from. But yeah, there you have it. There is my Iron Spider from Avengers Infinity War. I love how it looks. I think that it looks way more accurate. It's way better than the one that LEGO made originally for Infinity War. So this has been Boba Bricks. Make sure to tell me what you guys think about this figure in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.